very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new live trading video from extreme trader this is the last speaking in this video i'm going to use the 20 pips a day strategy but before that i really have to share with you these amazing messages we have received from the new members in the premium signals group this one is the best so far we have received this message from one member and he's saying here uh, he's showing us here these results it was amazing with more than a thousand dollars of profit and actually we are not stupid we asked him if this is dim or real and check out his answer she asked him angela is this a real account and he said i don't play and he shared with us this picture he's showing live server so this is actually live account a uh, one thousand dollars in one day using the signals that is really outstanding i'm more than happy for him not only for him for all the members we have received these uh, wonderful messages from them this guy also said your signal service for the last week was wonderful and here is one another guy he have made 78 dollars in just one day using our signals and this one here as well uh, okay, he, he's, he has some bad English here, but it's okay. Anyway, he's happy and that is what really matters to us. And this one also, all these trades are going in profit. This one as well. Hi, Angela. Thank you so much for the hard work. I wish I found you a long time ago. I can see that we are going places. So they are good, uh, making really good profits. This guy also, he has made 106 pounds of profits in just one day using the six signals. All in all, very good decent profits the members are making and i'm so much happy for them and i'm so much happy for the performance from angela of course my friends that is normal some days will be bad and some other days will be good our analysis are excellent and i can assure you that if you had a bad day that is because the market have had some unexpected news or just there was some unexpected events happened or maybe some president somewhere made a tweet which has affected the market but however when the market is loyal and the, the market is calm and we are uh, analyzing it very well these are the results you can expect from extreme trader the best signals you can ever find and we are actually the only one who are really honest and share with you the results even when are the, there are some losses we come here to admit to the members that there was some bad days because of this and that anyway really amazing very good results i'm so happy and wish to angela and the members the best in the premium group please my friends if you wish to join the, the premium group don't hesitate to contact angela you can find her link in the description of the video contact her today and hope to see you there soon so let's go now to the main subject of this of this video which is the live trading session and actually i need to press sell immediately okay <laughs> i will explain to you the reason later however uh, this video will be the 20 pips a day strategy and what i'm after in this trade is simply a 20 pips of my target now allow me first of course to explain to, uh, to you the reason for taking this trade now we can see that we had here a strong support level which has become later a strong resistance and of course after this bearish uh, movement or the bearish, the bearish breakout candle we can see that the very same resistance here it kept its position as a resistance by creating this resistance number one now we can see the candle on the four hour chart is approaching the very same level also to create the resistance number two now of course i'm not expect, expecting for the market to go down all the way like for example here or somewhere else now that is the beautiful about my strategy uh, it is always focusing on the bounces of these candles so this candle actually might continue to fly more up but before that it's gonna bounce first and it's gonna go at least to the nearest previous support or resistance before it continue to bounce more that is how this candle is actually behaving that's actually how the market usually behave when it's reaching uh, a second or first attempt of a support or resistance that's why i'm, I'm always uh, thankfully uh, ending in profit and my trading is safe because i'm just after these bounces only and if we look at the 30 minute time frame we can see it more clear that we have here the resistance number one and here this is the first touch when the market just reached this level uh, the, of the previous resistance and I'm I'm thinking that it will continue to go down here to hit this previous resistance before it actually continue to go more up now let me set my take profits and I will set it on this previous resistance right here so that should be about look at the left my friends 
we're looking at about 20 pips of profit let me just check it more yeah just like that 21 pips of profit now the good question here is what am I going to do if this trade will go against me hmm of course we explained this many times but let me just explain it to the beginners if uh, this will happen and this candle will go against me first of all uh, remember I'm on the 30 minute time frame I'm not going to close this uh, trade with the loss unless I see the candle actually closes as a breakout against me that's number one number two is I will continue analyzing the market so now you can see the candle going against me and I'm losing actually a lot of money now so far $22 not a lot of money but I mean comparing to my scalping system yeah it's a lot so if this candle goes against me I will continue analyzing the market and I would expect where could be the next reversal so the candle is approaching now the top of this resistance and perhaps it will reverse right now on this resistance if it continue to go more up it might actually reach this resistance here the next one and might actually reverse right here on this next or the sorry on this uh, uh, other resistance and maybe if I see the candle really reversing I'm going to place another sell order if I see the candle closes like this above this uh, resistance as well then I will close this trade with a loss and yes the loss will be big but with high accurate strategy or sorry with high uh, winning ratio strategy like this I can easily recover <coughs> uh, from just uh, two or three trades later so look at that it's already going against me and I'm losing money so far uh, almost 10 pips against me so far and let me just uh, make another analysis to show you if we are looking at the left look at that if we look at the left here we are seeing really strong resistance meaning this level usually will continue uh, to keep its position as a resistance now if we look at this uh, picture from the past so we are see we are seeing here that the candle the current price is right now on this very same resistance right now continue analyzing as I'm telling you look at the left here also like that just like that I'm focusing here by the way this is also another resistance so if this candle will go against me there is still another hope for another reversal right on this level so again if this candle will go against me it's all right to keep the trade running until it hit this level then I can place another sell order and this will be the first attempt of a resistance most likely the candle will actually bounce on this level and I can expect a lot of profit from this one because I will uh, first of all recover from the first trade and I will also make money from the second one however what if this all failed that is the big question if both of them failed then I simply failed that's it as simple as that then the trade is just uh, lost money and now I have to make another I have to make another two or three trades to recover the lost amount yes I know uh, losing is bigger than the profit sometimes but thankfully I know how to recover uh, if you are using my system if you are following my uh, system in this channel following my strategy then please please don't enter using big lots same like what I'm doing here I'm here actually uh, on the small account uh, entering with big lots 0 0.25 don't please please don't follow my money management that is risky that but that's because I am professional and I know how to recover in case I lost I'm not crazy to go one lot or two lots because I know my system sometimes will be failure and I know how to recover I advise you to use only 0.05 if you're a beginner and if you are advanced trader you can use 0.1 and that's it but please don't follow my high uh, money management or high sorry uh, high uh, lot size I don't want anyone to blame me for that later and tell he's risking a lot guys don't follow him don't listen to him no that is bullshit please that is up to me that is my personal thing because this is my money that is how I trade because this is life trading from my own money and so I'm responsible for it I'm just showing to you how we can actually do this uh, trades using that 20 pips a day strategy sorry I was talking for a long time here let me now go back to the four hour chart 
and let's see if we can find something else that we can actually enter and uh, now the pound is rising but actually we are on one two three four so four attempts so far and now this is attempt number five now the question do i really want to enter sell on this one absolutely nope that is against my strategy and to be safe i'm going to ignore it now let's look at the pound cad that is actually look interesting now the four hour chart showing that there is a potential setup here let me go to the one hour chart all right so the one hour chart is showing that this actually was the good uh, level to place sell order and we can see the market has already reached this level and now it's bouncing and i think already 10 pips has been approached uh i think we are late we are kind of late to enter this trade however my hand is itchy that i should place sell order anyway because this bounce is gonna be strong and i believe the market will continue to fall down until hitting this previous support here and that should give me yeah 25 pips actually i'm going to place sell immediately now the reason i place the sell order here is on the one hour chart for the uh, uh, pound canadian we can see that we are right here on a resistance level which was by the way a support in the past and also here a resistance and this bearish breakout candle is very strong cannot be ignored now you can notice that i'm just aiming 20 pips at uh, 20 pips from each uh, from each trade don't get greedy if it's not 20 pips you can get at least 10 pips but don't chase so many pips from each trade that is greediness and greediness will actually lead you to lose in this business what is this okay so i'm not expecting for the price to reverse down all the way to this level to the support here for example that is not uh, logic because the bullish moment momentum here is actually quite strong but for sure i think the market will reverse at least at least to hit this previous support level it actually might go a little bit more actually to hit this previous support level right here and this previous resistance but i'm trying to be safe i'm not being greedy i just want 20 pips a day that is the whole point of this video you don't you don't have to enter many trades by the way i'm entering three to four trades in this live trading video but in your case you can enter only one trade per day that is the whole point of the strategy it's called 20 pips a day meaning just 20 pips from one trade so let me just set my take profit uh 16 pips let me see if i can go further uh to this previous resistance here non i just want to be safe so i will accept 16 pips only no need to look for 20 in this trade uh however let's look at this one it's still ranging on this level of the resistance so let me just continue searching in the market to find a good setups all the pound actually now is going up so far uh i don't like to place sell on several trades of the pound because the pound usually uh, riskier actually yes i said before in the videos that i prefer to trade the pound when i'm using the 20 pips a day strategy but entering several of them in one video because that is risky actually uh, if um if the pound will continue rising in one pair most likely it will continue rising in all pairs and if one trade failed then for example if i entered the three trades of selling the pound and the pound went against me then i'm going to lose in the three trades that's why i don't like to enter many trades when i am selling or buying the pound so i'm just looking at the pairs uh hopefully to find something good to start selling or buying uh i can pause the video but of course you know me i just like to keep you with me so you can check the reality of a live trading session and let me look at the one hour chart here Mm, no nah, it's not safe actually it's not safe because the bullish momentum is really strong so okay i think after taking a look at all the pairs let me now pause the video until i find some other setups and i'll be back to you so let me share with you what i found here uh the usdgpy on the daily candles 
is approaching a support number two so we have here support number one and the candle is now approaching a support number two uh, not to mention that the very same level was also a support in the past and also it was a strong resistance so we can expect a bounce here on this level going back now to the four hour chart we can see that we are on the very bottom of this level right uh, just like that so let me switch to the one hour chart and we can see that this is actually my private uh, my private <laughs> my favorite price action and i think it will be safe to place another buy order right on this level now since i have placed my buy order here uh i can look actually for the market will continue to go more up until it hitting this previous resistance right here 13 pips let me just make it like 20. i cannot because i cannot go against my rules my rules is saying that the candle usually will go to the high to the next uh, support level support or resistance now this is the nearest support or resistance now this is only like I think 16 pips I forgot how many pips was that 16 pips so just because it's called a 20 pips a day strategy doesn't mean that you have to force the market to go in your direction to give you 20 pips a day no don't do that don't be greedy at all uh, if it's if the setup is not giving you 20 pips then just accept it what you can do is just jump now to another trade so hopefully you will find uh, the remaining uh, pips you need to end your day in profit so that is what I'm going to do right now and I think I will need to pause the video until I find a decent profit which will give me sorry uh, uh, do a decent setup which will, which will give me some profit so let me know okay hold on hold on on daily candles the cat GPY is approaching here the support level and if you have watched my videos you should know that this is the right way to draw your support line touching the shortest week of the support the very same level was a resistance in the past and now the market is approaching the same level as well exactly the same level so this seems to be good opportunity to start buying the CAD JPY JPY yeah I believe this was a good trade uh, it's, a good, uh, it's gonna be a good deal and now if we look at the setup where is the nearest resistance or the support remember i'm on the four hour chart so the nearest resistance is of course right here how many pips is that that is 28 pips now key is the important key of my strategy is to never be greedy so i'm just after 20 pips from this trade what i'm going to do is setting my target to be just 20 pips and that's it that is 20 pips hopefully the market will continue uh, its bullish reversal until it hit this previous resistance right here and i will be in good profit now you again don't have to follow first of all you don't have to follow my money my money um, my money management you don't have to enter with big lots on your trades like what i'm doing and second of all you don't have to enter many trades when you are using this strategy i'm just showing you many examples of how many setups we, can, setups, uh, setups we can find using this strategy but I advise you all to enter one or two maximum trades per day using the 20 pips a day strategy so let's say in case you have lost your loss will be just 20 pips and your profit will be also 20 pips that is the best thing you can do uh, to maintain sustainable uh, results in Forex so all these trades so far going in loss uh i need to pause the recording right now to show you what will gonna happen later with all these trades i am sure they will be in profit but it's just gonna take some time so let me now pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly and that's a very good turn we can see that the previous loss is now becoming a profit that's the beautiful thing about forex don't ever judge it from the first scene when you think you are about to lose you just judge it immediately that you have lost and you're getting panic please you need to get some more experience in forex to understand this thing now we can see this trade is actually about to hit the tech profit level uh, the jvp cad and it's about to touch it i think i will close it manually because it's just right there 
and I think I will just close it with the profit. Uh, almost 20 pips from this trade. That was nice, sweet uh, profit. This one also so far is going in 10, 11, almost 12 pips of profit. Very good. And the other one here is reversing going up. Uh, the cash GPY is still there. So it's now going very well. Nice trades. That's the beautiful, the beautiful thing about 20 pips a day strategy. From just one trade, you can end your day. Uh, remember that you need to analyze it based on daily and four hour chart and you should be good to go. So now again, let me pause the video to show you what will gonna happen in the end with, with all these trades. So all the trades now going in profit, but I decided that I want to share with you the reason I entered buy on the USDGPY. Actually, uh, this price action right here, and maybe some of you don't know that, but this is my favorite price action indicating for a reversal. If you check out the history of the chart, you can see it almost everywhere when there was a reversal. We can see it actually uh, here. This is the candle. Uh, the price action is just like that. If you look at the resistance, so if you look at the top, the, the candle will look like that. It will look like a small body with a small uh, wick at its top and long tail like that. That one usually indicating that the market now will continue to reverse. Usually this is called reversed hammer. Uh, it's my, one of my favorite price actions and of course it's the opposite when you see it on the support level. If you are looking at the support, you should look at the bottom of the support and then you can look for this candle like that. It will be with a small tail at the bottom and long wick at the top. That usually indicating that the market will now reverse and go up. So again, uh, just to mark it uh, clearly, on a resistance, it looked like this. And on a support, it looked like this. Uh, let me just make it clear, like that. Usually, this will indicate that the market now is going to reverse. And checking the history, we can see one here, this uh, long red candle. This one here, after we saw this candle, the market has reversed and went up. Now we can see it actually also here. This one here is what I'm talking about. And we can see that after the scandal appeared, the market went up. And here when it appeared, right here, shit, right here. And we can see that the market has went down. Of course, it's not a guarantee it's not assurance that the market will reverse, but it's just a signal that can tell you that this will be a good level to start uh, reversing and you can start selling or buying. I really trust it a lot and advise, I, I advise you to actually give it a shot. It will be very strong and very nice signal that you can follow. Now I'm checking all the trades. They are all going in profit. That is very sweet. I'm still waiting for them to reach the target of 20 pips. And allow me now again to record, uh, sorry, to, to pause the recording and I'll be back to you to show you what happened with all the remaining trades. So we can see right now the USD GPY is approaching the target, almost 11 pips of profit. Uh, it's just that I don't want to keep uh, recording for a long time and the video now is more than 20 minutes. So I will close the USD GPY with the profit. Uh, pound USD also is going good and the cat gpy also is going good in our favor with the seven pips of profit i will just close it also and this one actually with almost seven pips i'm going to close it so we ended this video with about 80 dollars of profit that is really good i just uh, i can't keep it uh, running until it hit the tech, the tech profit but the thing is i really don't want to make this video so long more than 20 minutes actually is way too much i know some people getting bored so anyway uh, this was a good lesson where I can show you that using the daily candle and the four hour chart, we can aim the four, uh, sorry, we can aim the 20 pips a day uh, target and by that you will be safe. Please, my friends, give it a try. Just uh, accept these 20 pips per day. Just try it for one week only. One week I'm asking you to try this uh, strategy and please share with us your uh, results and your experience. Uh, in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.